how to remove foreclosures, bankruptcies, <laughs> charge-offs, repossessions, and collections. All in this video. And I'm going to give you three ways, three ways to go about removing those. What up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And in this brief video, I want to talk to you about three different ways that you can go about removing all of the things that I listed. Let me take a squig of water. I've been recording a lot of videos back to back to back. Anytime you see me with the same outfit on, I probably recorded a lot of videos all in one day. Why? Because I want to maximize my time and disperse the videos accordingly in a way that best serves you. So the information that I'm sharing with you is timeless. Whether you watched it the day it dropped or you're watching this a couple of years from now. What up? Hold on. couple of years from now that's of course as long as the credit industry hadn't changed drastically due to all of the fintech and things that are coming up down the pipeline anyway that being said let's talk about it talking about removing bankruptcies repossessions collections uh charge-offs foreclosures you name it i'm gonna give you three different ways and it's not necessarily three different ways one is a follow-up but another one is a way that a lot of people don't talk about or think about. Now, number one is when you're looking up your report or looking at your report and seeing everything that's on there, you got to know that a lot of times, even though it's on your report, sometimes it's reporting some inaccuracies. It's reporting some things that don't necessarily represent why it should be on your report. So you want them to prove that that account belongs to you. One of the main ways that we preach and teach is getting the bureaus to verify that this collection, this bankruptcy, this foreclosure belongs to you. Because if they can't verify that it belongs to you by proving that these, the information that they have on file justifies that it's yours or they go through the proper investigation to prove that the entities who they said belong on your credit report, if they are not able to prove it, then they have to remove it. So you want to go through sending a verification letter to get them to verify it. Another way to go about it is looking at the things that may be inaccurate. So you may go through your credit report and you look and see, okay, the last inactivity they says two weeks ago, although this thing has been on my report for three years, how is it possible that a closed account can have a last activity date of two weeks ago or a month ago? Then you can dispute and say, hey, you know, inaccurate last activity date. And it could be some other information that conflicts, names, spellings, address, you know, that gives a reason of why it shouldn't be reported. You can send a letter to dispute those inaccuracies and ask them to remove it. So those are two ways. Now, if they fire back a letter that says, okay, this item was verified for whatever reason, you know, and sometimes that's the automated system that verifies those things. Sometimes they're not a human being. Most of the time, you can bet your bottom dollar it's an automated system if you receive something that says it was verified. Sometimes it may just say it was verified in the system. Sometimes they actually send you a letter it just varies but you want to pay attention to it in the system so once you send those letters out wait about 35 days then you know refresh your report and see if any changes have been made if it shows that it was verified or you received something in the mail you want to fire back off with a method of verification a method of verification letter gets them to show you the method into which they use in order to say that this collection bankruptcy foreclosure collection i said that already charge off repo belongs to you so if they said it was verified then the easiest thing for them to be able to do it should be to show what method they use to verify it. and in many cases those things start to fall off because the method of verification is not proven sometimes they may stall sometimes they might not respond at all there's a lot of different things that they try to do to uh style time but sometimes you got to keep applying pressure and try different tactics in different orders to get them to remove it so those are the first ones i wanted to tell you about the last one is you may want to consider putting a temporary freeze on those uh credit reporting agencies outside of Experian, transunion and equifax most people know about those because those are the scores that we're looking at but where they're getting that information from is typically a company that you've never heard of at all. So I want you to find out what those secondary bureaus are that could be reporting negative items. And I'll give you four, the four main ones, but different ones that report different things. And there are tons of them, tons of them. So these may not fit what's on your report. However, you definitely want to consider freezing these first 
then going through the process. So say you went through that process, didn't get the results you needed. You say, you know what, let me freeze these bureaus because this is where they're probably getting their information from. Let me put a freeze on them. Now send them some letters and see if that works out in your favor. But the top four that typically are reporting this information are none other than LexisNexis, um, I, I went blank, Innovis, I-N-N-O-V-I-S, SageStream, and CoreLogic. Those four are some of the main ones that are hurting your credit score. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you apply pressure and get some of those things removed. If you would like us to help you set up your free consultation using the link below. And you know, if we're a good fit, then we don't mind accepting you in as a client and helping you go through this process. But if nothing else, apply what we taught you before you decide that you want to invest in us and get our assistance. Apply what it is that we taught you. Take advantage of the free credit class. See if it helps you in any way, shape, form, fashion. The main thing is we want to help you take your score to the next level, whether that's through our information, whether that's through these videos, or whether that's you hiring us and you becoming a client. Either way, no big deal if we're not a good fit for one another great but at least you got something of value that can help you take your credit from where it is now to where you want it to go see you on the next video